What's up ladies and gentlemen, FF Dev here and in this video we're going to be continuing on our pawn game and we're just going to be setting up a very very basic UI and I'm going to show you how you can continue to set it up even more and add some variables to lose in and you can do as much with this as you want. So what we're going to do first is, I'll actually show you, I already did this in mind, but you're going to want to right click on your source folder, you're going to want to add a folder, new folder and you're going to name it fonts. And I'm going to show you what I did with this. I'm going to open this in the file explorer. And inside that fonts folder that's inside your source folder, I downloaded a free font, commercially free to use, called Pixel Emulator. If you search for it, you'll find it online on Google, on a website. I think a couple of websites have it. When you download it, you just put it in this fonts folder, the .ttf file. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to act like I'm going to rename it because I'm, the name's kind of weird. And I'm just going to copy the entire name. So I have it saved there. And what we're going to do next is we're going to create a font on here. We're going to type in SF font and we're going to name it font, lower cases. And then we're going to say font dot load from file. And we're going to put uh, the little parentheses or the quotations here. And we're going to post that in there. But we can't just load it just quite yet because we got to tell it where to go. So we're going to type in src slash fonts slash and then it will have that pixel emulator dot ttf. We could have easily just typed in, it may have been easier just to type in sr, src slash fonts slash and then paste that in because our directory always starts above our source folder. Even though our main function is in the source folder, our solution will lead us in directly into this. That's when we have to type in the SRC. So I'll show you just for the fun of it where, it, where we go by default. So open folder and file explorer, where we'll be coming from, will be essentially from here, where all these files are at. And that's when we have to type in SRC so it knows where that is. And that's where we type in the fonts and then it shows where it goes. All right. Now that we've loaded that font, we're going to need another object. We're going to call it an SF. Uh, let's see, what do, what do we need? What do we need? It's not a font, it's text. We need an SF text. And we're just going to call this font HUD. Then we're going to do font HUD dot set font. And we're going to set this to our Font. Now we're going to do font HUD dot set position. We're going to set this because you remember all the way to the left is zero. So we're going to set this to a zero and starting at the very top is zero. We're going to set this to about a, actually on the left, I'm going to give that a five and I'm going to give this a zero. The one at the top. And we're going to say font HUD. Ah font HUD dot set character size. We're going to set this to about 15. And also we're going to do font HUD dot set fill color. And we're going to put this SF color and you can do it to whatever you want. I'm just setting mine to green. All right. So we're going to need one more thing. I'll go ahead and delete this out of here so I can show you how we're going to add it. We need a, a string stream. So we're going to type in hashtag include error break is ss and then or s stream would perfectly actually be what it is and we're doing this so we can put you know integers and strings different types of stuff together in one file easily so let's see I'd already had that in but I'm gonna show you how to add it so down here I'm gonna type in std string stream and we're going to name it SS for string stream. All right. So now what we need to do, this is going to be the first time we initialize it. We're, let's say we're going to also add a, um, above that, we're going to add lives, an integer called lives, and we're going to initialize it to three. So when we start this off, we're going to type in, let's see, we're not going to use the string stream at, at the very first time, but we're going to say, font hud 
actually we will use it dot set string and then what we're gonna do is ss str which converts it to a string but what we're gonna need to do above that is we're gonna need to put uh, ss then the little out brackets here and we're gonna put lives and then we're gonna put lives and we add that there now this adds lives and let me put the call in here adds the string lives and then adds the lives variable to it and we convert this all into one string so lives is no longer an integer so now whenever we run this apparently we got an error somewhere all right because we didn't add our semicolon here and now what we'll do first to show how this is going to be working under our draw functions we want this to be on the very top window.draw font HUD now cross your fingers if everything works right we're gonna see a HUD alright there's our lives at the top three now I don't particularly think that font is nearly big enough so set character size we're gonna set that to 30 and also I'm going to say font.hud or font.hud.set outline thickness to about 4. And I'm going to say font.hud.set outline color to sf color white. Now let's see how this looks. Oh, four is a little big. Let's cut that back to like a two on the outline thickness. That's a little better, but I'm going to cut it down to a one still. All right, for me, that looks satisfactory. So we can see our lives. Now it says three lives. Now we want this to do something whenever the, we miss the ball. So what we're going to do with that and we have already got our lives variable to three, so we're gonna go down to where we missed the ball. Let's find where we call that function where we missed the ball, miss bottom here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, let's say SS. Actually, first we'll say lives minus minus because we want to subtract one from lives. Then we'll say SS. We're going to input something to it, but which what we're going to input to it is we're just going to clear it by putting it as nothing. So then we will go to font hud dot set string ss dot str, and if everything works right, our thing's going to disappear. Just doing it one step at a time to show you what we're doing. So it didn't work right at all that time. So what that was supposed to do, ooh, my bad. So what I'll do is put ss.str here. We're gonna set the whole entire thing, the whole string here, to cleared. We'll do it this way. now it should disappear all right so now we cleared it got everything out of it now we're going to go ss and then we're going to type in score or not score lives then we're going to add in lives now if everything works correctly since it's been cleared there we go lives two one and zero and negative one negative two and what we'll do we'll make the game end once you get below zero lives so like like when it says zero lives that means lives remaining so how we'll do that is let's say let's find our close function I'm just gonna use this here there's multiple ways you can do this so we'll find the one where we press the escape where if we press the escape key to quit we'll say or with the logical or lives 
less than zero. Now if we did everything correct, one, zero, we're gonna hit the ball once if we can, then it's gonna miss, and oh, game over. So you could expand upon this by adding a score system, whatever you wanna add to it, to the HUD. But this was finishing the pawn game. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that this helped you guys. If you guys like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, comment on what you want to see, and I'll try to bring it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.